Yikes. Look at this hair. Bad hair day. I think it's time for a haircut. Don't you think? Yes, sir. Barber? Yes. I need a haircut. Can you cut my hair right now? No, no there are uh, three person. And then you can wait. Oh. Wait outside? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Busy, busy. Okay. All right, guys, we're waiting outside in the waiting area right here. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm walking around with this towel. Sometimes the sun will just come out after a rain and, and it'll start getting hot and humid. So, you know, I use this to wipe the sweat off. So it's kind of like a comfort towel. That's why I kind of carry it around. Um, we're number three, I guess it was. So we got a little bit of a time to wait, but I, I was going to come out here and talk to some of these people. But as soon as I came out, obviously, um, they were shy and they really didn't want to intrude on, on our vlogging. So they, they scattered and they, they went behind me, if you can see, waiting over there just to be nice. The people here are just... They're really, really sweet. So um, I guess I know what it feels like when someone thinks you got COVID-19, right? I had a little low-grade fever. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, um, should be coming up pretty soon. We've been waiting for a little while, but if you look inside here, this, this facility, it can hold like 30 people. So he, he must get really, really busy. But I uh, heard he's, he's the best barber here, so. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting to find out more about him you know, and uh, what's been up in his life and uh, just another interesting person here that I've bumped into. So pretty excited to get in, get a haircut, and we'll see you inside, okay? Okay, next, number three. Go ahead, speak. Okay, go. Well, sir, what, what kind of haircut do you want? Uh, I don't... None of these right here. <laughs> uh, like, like this. Yeah, maybe more you know, like like right there, so that's good. Uh hey Sinto, how, how much is the haircut? Yeah, there. Wow! Holy mackerel, 50 pesos? 85 cents? Wen says Lao Purgatorio Jr., who is known by his nickname Sintoy, was born in the town of Matatina on the island of Cebu. He is the father of two sons, one 12 years of age and the other six. At the age of 16, he traveled three and a half hours north, 104 kilometers to Cebu City to train as a barber for seven months. With a desire to finish his high school education, he made the trek back to Matatina and graduated. He then returned back yet again to Cebu City to continue his career as a barber. But when tourism exploded, with people from all over the world wanting to experience the canyoneering adventure, the high paying job of being a guide was just too hard to resist. So back he went yet again. Things were running smoothly until a few years ago. It all started with a full lockdown for nearly two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And if that wasn't enough, it was followed up with the devastating Category 5 typhoon called Odette that caused massive destruction last December. Sintoy's livelihood was tied to tourism and no one was coming to Cebu. So, he decided he had to change gears and start a new career. So he went back in time and became a barber yet again. He found a location and built his little barber shop with his own two hands. That's right, the entire structure from the foundation, to the walls, to the accessories, and even all the electrical wiring himself. A real live MacGyver. Even at 50 pesos per cut, which is only 85 cents US, including air conditioning and free Wi-Fi, 
It's still a good living here in the Philippines. Hey, Sintoy, how many heads of hair do you cut on a busy day? On uh, a busy day, almost 40. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Hey, guys. As you can see, today is a really, really busy day. So, Sintoy has an associate barber right next to us. So, a shout out to Johnson. Hey. <laughs> the hours are long, but it's worth it. Because Wen Sens Lao, Purgatory Jr. is now the boss nice. and owner. I don't get this in the United States. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. What do you think? I think his reputation is intact. This is it. I, I feel good about this haircut. I hope you all agree with that too. So thank you, Sintoy. Okay, appreciate that. Uh, I also found out that Sintoy has his own YouTube channel too. So we'll put that in the link in description. So y'all go and take a look at that too and give him some support, okay? Uh, we're just gonna head out here and let him get his next customer. So. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Surprise. Uh, back where we started, this morning when I gave you my wacky hair. I'm uh, pretty happy right now. Got some exciting new content coming up, but stay tuned. Might be going to a professional Philippine basketball game. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you on the next episode.